Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto and welcome to, of course, your daily update on Bitcoin. Uh, last night and with, uh, with, with the market opening in the last 12 hours, we saw a little bit of bearish momentum. I mean, not necessarily for Bitcoin. Uh, Bitcoin has basically round tripped, right? So if you look at the one hour time frame, you can see that we had a bit of a sell off in the last eight hours. And then the last hour, we saw some momentum kicking in. So we'll talk about that, what that means, etc. Uh, because right now, <clears throat> I mean, ju ju just to be honest with you, uh, the market is still opening, all right? So, so new capital and new volume is flowing into the markets. So what's best in general uh, is to wait for that volume to hit the markets, wait for the volume to be in the markets, and then you can see what direction we have. Uh, what directional bias we should have, and then based on that, we can we can we, we can do more accurate predictions. But we'll still talk about that, so don't worry. Uh, and overall, like I said, over over the course of um, the last couple of hours, Bitcoin dominance went up quite a bit. Uh, so what happened is that altcoins suffered. All right, so that why that's why the market feels a little bit more bearish, even though, as we will talk about in this video. I think Bitcoin at this moment, I mean, you can see that there's uh, there, there's still a slight uptrend here, all right? E even after even after the sell-off we had in the last couple of hours, um, there's a bit of an increase here. And uh, and look, I'm, I'm not going to tell you that I think the market is positive because right now, if you look at a lot of the indicators around the market, the market is not bullish, all right? Uh, purely if you look at the daily time frame, I would say, look, th this could turn bullish, but at this moment, it's not. And then if you look at the four hour time frame, I think the, the downtrend becomes more clear. And then most importantly, we've just lost a lot of momentum. The volume is dropping down. There's no there's there's no super bullish fundamental event coming soon. Um, even though later this week, and I, I told you I, I would keep you reminded later this week, we have the inflation rate and the CPI. That's a pretty major event. All right. If those are lower than lower than expected, then we can maybe get into a narrative of a rate, an interest rate cut in the US somewhere in, in August, or I'm not sure when the next uh, decision is. Um, but something like that would be, would be positive. And then we have some fundamentals to be bullish about. But right now, the general picture is still bearish. Now, does that mean that we, we cannot be bullish? No. I mean, right now, like I said, volume is getting into the markets. Um, and if, if I have to tell you something positive, first of all, like I said, if you look at the technicals, uh, we are, if, I, if my mouse works, we are forming some sort of a, a short-term bullish momentum here uh, since, since Friday evening. And what you can see at the same point of time, which is always a great indicator, at least I think, um, is that the spot buying since the 12th, so, so since yesterday morning, has been positive as well. And if we look back at the times that that has been positive, that has always at least provided some bullish momentum. All right, so, so, so that's positive. But like I said, and I do think that's very important to know, we're still very early. All right, it's Monday morning where, where, where I'm from. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's early afternoon probably in Asia. The US is still sleeping. So we have to wait for that volume to kick in. Um, so right now, it's, it's very difficult to say what's most likely due to the spot buying. Um, the open interest, we cannot really derive something from. There's no momentum in the markets. So that's, again, something we have to wait for. Uh, but right now, I'm, I'm leaning to be a little bit positive here, all right? Leaning towards being a bit positive. In the end, I think that if you look at the market right now, the best thing to do is to view the market like this, all right? So that we have a strong resistance up here at 62,000. And we have a strong support level, I would say, around uh, 60,500, 60,400. Uh, if you really want a strong direction, wait for one of those two levels to break. But for now, what I think is most likely is that we will see a volatility within that region. And then uh, I think a bullish breakout is the more likely scenario. But I will keep you updated on that, all right? In the market update later today, I, I think we have more information than I can tell you a little bit more. Um, but for now, that's what I expect. So thank you for watching. Take care and bye.